Hello and welcome to The Inner Girl by Tamara Glenn Co. I'm so happy to have you here with me. So before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel. New videos are coming every week that you will not want to miss whilst you're down there. Um, if you see in the description box, I will leave the link to join the Inner Club Members Club if that's something that you'd be interested in. But I will also leave the links for the downloadable resources that accompany this video. All that being said, let's get started. So life is, of course, full of ups and downs. Um, but I feel like for the last, what, two years or so, it probably has been a lot more downs than a lot of us were used to. Um, I feel like even just looking on social media, you kind of get the sense that a lot of people are kind of feeling jaded or just a little bit meh with life. Um, and I know that's definitely been the case for me personally. I feel like I go through phases of kind of being super productive, my creativity's flowing, I feel great, and I'm like smashing through my to-do list all day, every day. Um, and then there are other days that it's literally a struggle <laughs> to get out of bed and brush my hair. Because I know exactly kind of what I am capable of, on those days where I am struggling a little bit, I do kind of slip into this pattern of kind of beating myself up and being like, oh, you know, you've got so much to do, why aren't you doing any of it? But there are, there are some times that even just thinking about having to do anything that involves engaging my brain, it's just too overwhelming. It's just, <laughs> today is not the day, I am not the one. <laughs> so when you do find yourself in one of these holes, it's very easy to just kind of keep digging until you find yourself just sinking deeper and deeper and deeper. For me, when I'm in kind of this frame of mind, I do find it easier just to hide away and kind of neglect everything else. So what that means is that I end up not eating properly, doing zero exercise, and the only fresh air I get is literally when I crack open the window. And Obviously no one is their best self every single second of every single day, but when you are having a bad day it can be very easy to look around and be like, why are they able to do that and I just can't? Listening to your body is so important because there will be times that you do just need rest, it's as simple as that. But if you feel like you're stuck in a rut as opposed to actively resting, there are a few things that you can try to start lifting yourself back out of that. Number one, get out of bed when you wake up. So... My bed is literally my favourite place to be in the world, I'm not going to lie to anybody, but it is also the place that I go to wallow and feel sorry for myself when I'm having a rubbish day. Thinking about everything that's kind of going wrong for me at that moment in time is really not the best way to start the day and it's not the best way to get yourself in a good frame of mind. The longer I stay in bed, the more likely it also is that I'm going to pick up my phone and just start scrolling on social media. Not there's anything wrong with that, but for me, time does fly. Um, the longer I spend on there, <laughs> the less time I have to get ready for the day. So number two, try starting your day on a more intentional note. So this will mean different things for different people. It will be a case of finding what works for you. It might mean setting your alarm five, ten minutes earlier than usual so that you can get up, you can journal, or you can just do a brain dump, get everything out of your mind so that you're starting the day with a nice, fresh, clean slate. I personally find it quite helpful to set intentions for my day. So this doesn't have to be like a massive, overwhelming to-do list. It can just be a couple of things that you would like to do that day. Number three, mix things up. So if you're feeling like your daily routine is a bit stale and it's making you feel the same way, maybe try mixing it up a little bit. So if you always find yourself wearing like the same three outfits, try something new. Like if you're anything like me, there will be clothes that you've bought and probably not worn yet. If you walk to work, maybe try taking a different route in the morning. Um, if you go for a coffee on the way, maybe try somewhere different or just sack the coffee off altogether and try that new fancy sounding drink that you keep looking at. The point is having a routine in place can make us feel stable, can make us feel secure, um, you know, because we've got a structure in place. But if it gets to the point where it's feeling so monotonous, the same day in, day out, it can also make us feel very stifled. Um, and if that's something that you're feeling, just try something different. Number four, spend some time outside. So whenever I say that I'm feeling down, one of the first things that I always hear is, go and do some exercise, the endorphins will do you great, you'll feel so much better afterwards. And whilst that is true, sometimes it's just not what you want to hear. Like... <laughs> If you're having a bad day and it's a struggle, I'm not going to the gym. Sorry, not sorry. So on the days where that's just not for me, I'll take myself for a walk. You know, depending on the day, it might be first thing in the morning, it might be after I've had lunch, 
or maybe after dinner in the evening whatever time works for you whenever the weather's nice um i'm not gonna lie <laughs> when i see my step count at the end of the day i'm like yes i have achieved something today i might not have got anything else done <laughs> but my step count is looking pretty happy with itself if you're not feeling a walk then just take yourself outside get some fresh air it will really help to clear your mind if you're normally like chugging your coffee inside while you're getting ready maybe allow yourself an extra five minutes so you can sit outside and have it or if you're spending the whole day at work, instead of spending your whole lunch break inside, maybe just take yourself outside for five minutes. And number five, do something fun. So again, this will be very personal to you, what you enjoy doing. But you know, if you've been isolating yourself a little bit, this could mean spending some time with family and friends. Or if you're very much kind of done with being around people for the moment, which is fine, then you know, spend some time in your own company, watch Netflix, read a book whatever it is that makes you feel good. Choose something that you will enjoy and allow yourself to enjoy it instead of worrying about all the things that you have to do or should be doing. Really allow yourself to be present in that moment and just enjoy yourself. By including this positive downtime, you're giving yourself this time to kind of renew yourself and just relax and just come back to being you. Um, because if you're constantly stuck in this cycle of always doing, always doing something, always doing too much, you will just end up right back in that rut again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what resonated with you, what you're working on at the moment. I love to hear all of that. Um, I will again leave the link to the Inner Glow Members Club in the description box if that is something that would interest you. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.